We'll now connect a pyroelectric sensor used for measuring energy per pulse of a repetitively pulsed beam. For the most accurate reading when using a pyroelectric sensor with any Ophir meter, we recommend that you perform zeroing with the meter and the specific sensor connected. Once done, you won't need to do that again for this sensor as long as it's being used with the same meter type, in this case Centauri. When you change meter types, you'll want to re-zero the sensor. Here we set the measurement type. For any beam whose energy per pulse the pyro sensor can measure, it can also measure the beam's average power. Exposure measures the total accumulated energy over the user-controlled duration of the measurement. Range. Note again that there's no auto range option for energy measurements. Laser or wavelength. Depending on the type of absorber used in your sensor, such as metallic or the broadband BF or BB absorbers, there might be just a few discrete wavelength settings, or as in this example, a full curve with the option to edit any of the default favorites to any other wavelength in the sensor's specified range. Average displays a running average over a selected time, rather than the real-time instantaneous reading. This is useful when you need to measure an unstable beam. It's also accessible from the functions screen. Pulse width. This sets the maximum pulse width, the time window during which a given pulse is integrated, held, and measured. Choosing a given maximum pulse width setting determines, of course, the maximum pulse repetition rate, as can be seen in the specifications. Ophir's Pyro-C line of energy sensors gives you up to five different pulse width settings to choose from, so you won't fall between the cracks by having a pulse width too long for the one setting but a repetition rate too high for the other setting. Diffuser. If your sensor is one of the models having a removable diffuser, here is where you tell the Centauri whether the diffuser is now in or out. This sensor, as you can see, is not one of those. Threshold. These sensors have a user-adjustable minimum threshold, so you can operate even in noisy environments by setting the threshold to just the right level to allow your pulses in while keeping noise out. When we measure energy, we're shown the pulse energy as well as the repetition rate. In power mode, we're shown the average power of this same beam. Offset here at the bottom can be set to subtract a fixed offset from all subsequent measurements as long as offset is active. Note that it can only be set when a measurement is actually happening. The value of the offset power, the power that's now being automatically subtracted from all readings, is shown here. In exposure mode, we can measure exposure from when we manually touch start till we touch stop. Alternatively, we can preset the time or the total number of pulses over which we want the exposure measured. To learn more, please visit our website or contact Ophir directly.